of the Deputy de Megantic. The Honorable Member for Megantic L'Erable. Monsieur le Président. Mr. Speaker, after a week, it's time to end the protests in front of Parliament Hill in Ottawa. And it's also time to end the restrictions that are at the basis of this protest. The signs of hate and disrespect that we have seen are unacceptable. We are seeing a real lack of leadership. The mayor of Ottawa, the police force, they are all asking for something to be done. But instead, the prime minister has been pouring oil on the fire and has maintained the restrictions instead of listening to the protesters. We need a leader. Today, my question, what will the prime minister do to end this situation peacefully? The Honourable Minister of Public Safety. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to thank my colleague for the question. Last night, I had a good discussion with the Mayor of Ottawa, Mr. Watson. Subsequently, I ensured that the RCMP has confirmed that they will be adding resources on the ground. We need to recognize the destruction caused by the convoy. We need to support residents. The RCMP will be there to support Ottawa police. Who, the Ottawa police is the police force that has jurisdiction. The honorable member for Megantique L'Erable. Mr. Speaker, two years after the beginning of the pandemic, 34,000 Canadians have died. The, the pandemic has placed great strain on a healthcare system that was already fragile. The healthcare system is suffering. And it is not just the COVID pandemic that is responsible. We are doing badly among peer countries when it comes to hospital beds per capita. Will the Prime Minister commit today to starting discussions on healthcare transfers with the provinces? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I would like to thank my colleague for his question. The COVID-19 pandemic continues to bring to light many challenges in the healthcare system. For example, when it comes to prevention control, we have been there to support the provinces and territories from the beginning of the pandemic. And we will continue to work with provinces and territories in order to fight COVID-19. The Honourable Member for Megantic L'Erable. Mr. Speaker, I would like to share some numbers with my colleague. When it comes to the number of doctors, Canada is 32nd among OECD countries. It's not surprising that people are having trouble finding family doctors. The Conservatives have promised to increase health care transfers by at least 0.6 a year and to start discussions with the Premiers within their first 100 days. The Council of the Federation will be held today. Will the Prime Minister agree to unconditionally increase health care transfers? Yes or no? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Health. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to thank my colleague for the question. And I'd like to thank my colleague for the chance to practice my French today. However, in this case, I will answer in English. My numbers, because the, the question was about numbers. And indeed, we've provided $63.7 billion in support for Canada's health response, including $14 billion for vaccines, including $5.3 billion for PPE. And last year alone, we provided almost $42 billion in cash support to provinces and territories. I wish to work together with my colleague on the Committee for Health so we can find better solutions for health care in this country. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honourable Member for Hastings.